Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So evaluate this double integral. Evaluate this double integral. So press pause and um, press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, let me just quickly drag this over here, and then you've got one over this thing here. So this whole thing here becomes this. So I'm just rewriting it. Um, so so now you've got uh, one block, and uh, and and looking at this, you've got an inner integral here. And this is your outer integral here. But looking at this, you don't really want to integrate this with respect to y. Um, this is it's really difficult to integrate this with respect to y. So um, so treat this as a constant and uh, switch these two around. So you ultimately, you want to integrate it with respect to x first. You ultimately want to do this. You want to uh, integrate it with respect to x first and then with respect to y. But in order for us to switch these two around, um, we've got to try and understand our, our region of integration. So let's try and understand our region of integration. So currently, as it stands, this inner integral here, you're always gonna in, you're always moving parallel to the y-axis. So you're always doing this. You're always doing this parallel to the y-axis, um, and then you're integrating. Um, well, if you're moving parallel to the y-axis, then this is going to be y equals something y equals something and then looking at the outer integral uh, it would mean that this would be x equals something x equals something so this thing here becomes this but we still need to un understand our, our region of integration um, so let's try and understand the region so uh, currently we are moving parallel to the um, the y-axis we have no idea what's going on so let's let's just quickly sketch this graph well y equals square root of x looks like this y equals um, y equals a cube root of x looks like something like this looks something like this um, so remember we are moving parallel to the y-axis so we're, we're moving like this we're moving like this we're moving like this but then we're starting from the line and stopping at y equals 2 so we're moving along like this we're moving along like this but this is saying we're starting at the line, starting at the line, and then stop at y equals 2, stop at y equals 2, stop at y equals 2. Let's just say this is y equals 2 here. Well, y equals 2, uh, y equals 2 would mean that this must be 8, because cube root of 8 gives you 2. Uh, cube, root of, cube root of 8 gives you 2. So the, the point here is, if this is 2, then this must be 8. And then if, if you look at this thing here, you're moving parallel to the y-axis, which means you're moving like this. But then you start at the line, you start at the line, and then you stop at 2. You start at the line, you stop at 2. You start at the line, you stop at 2. You st so the, our, region, our region is this bit here. This is our region. Okay? And, uh, and looking at the outer integral, we are scanning from 0 to 8. So look at this, we're scanning from 0 to 8. Look at this, we're scanning all the way through from 0 to 8. Look, we're scanning all the way through from 0 to 8. From So our, re our region is actually this. Our region is, um, is this. Is this region here. But then uh, we, we want to switch, we want to switch these, um, we want to switch these two around. We want to switch these two around uh, because we want to treat this as a constant. So we want to switch these two around. So now it becomes dx by dy. Now it becomes dx by dy. But then we need to sort this out. Well, if, if we want to, if we want to work with dx, then that would mean that it has to be x equals something, x equals something. And this dy here would mean it's going to be y equals something, y equals something. Um, looking at this bit here. Um, dx would mean that we would need to move. Uh, hang on, let me just erase this. Dx would mean that uh, we want to move parallel to the x-axis. So this dx here would mean we want to move like this, a parallel to the x-axis. We want to move like this. But remember, our region is this bit here. So that would mean we want to do this. Move we would move parallel to the x-axis. We want to move in this manner, which would mean we start at zero and then stop at the line. 
we should mean we start at x equals 0 and then stop at the line. Well, this line here, um, well, it's got to be x equals something. Let, let me just uh, cube both sides. So it's like this, equals x. So it would mean y to the power of 3. So, uh, so that's done. Now we're scanning all the way through. Hang on. We're scanning all the way through. We're scanning all the way through. We're scanning all the way through from 0 to 2. Because we're scanning all the way through. We're scanning all the way through from 0 to 2. So we're scanning all the way through from 0 to 2. So this is how you set up the integral now, if, if you want to work in terms of dx and then dy. So now we can treat this as a constant. So that will then take us to, that will then take us to here. That would then take us to here. So now it's, uh, all, well, now it's easy now. It's just a matter of integrating this, treating this as a, as a constant, because there's no x in here. So when you integrate this, well, this is just a constant. So when you integrate it, it's just going to be this block with an x in there. So when you, in, when you integrate this with respect to x, it just becomes the constant and then with an x. And uh, we're, in, we're integrating from 0 to y cubed, from 0 to y cubed. So now we can put y to the power of 3 into here. So that would then give us uh, this thing here. And then take away put this into here it would be 0 take away 0 so uh, this whole thing here would then become this so now integrate it with respect to y but notice that um, because this is the exact derivative of this thing here um, well near enough the exact derivative um, then you know it's going to be easy to integrate so when you integrate this you could use substitution but try to train yourself um, to do it without substitution because it's quite easy um, if you look at this notice that this is the near enough the exact derivative of this so you know it's easy to integrate so make this to be your initial guess make this to be your initial guess natural log of y to the power of 4 plus 1 um, you're, if you're trying to integrate this you're looking for something in such a way that when you differentiate it it gives you this thing here well make this to be your initial guess when you differentiate this when you differentiate this, it will give you um, 1 over the bubble, which will be y to the power of 4 plus 1, and then times the derivative of the bubble itself, which will be, what, which will be um, 4y to the power of 3. This gets multiplied to the top, so it will look like this. Um, 4y to the power of 3 over y to the power of 4 plus 1. But you don't want this 4. So you would go back here and stick 1 over 4 in here. Now when you differentiate it, it will give you this. Okay, so, so when you integrate this, don't forget, it's got to be absolute here. Um, that, that's a reason for that, which we've done in, in Calc 1 or 2. Um, that, that, will then give us, uh, that will then give us this. Well, anyway, integrate this, it will give us this. And now, um, now uh, we can drag this out here. And uh, this absolute thing here, well, if you look, we, we're, we're integrating from 0 to 2. So we're never, this thing will never be negative. So we can, uh, dis we can uh, discard the absolute and just use brackets. Slightly simpler. So now put this into here. That would be uh, 16 plus 1. Uh, that would be 16 plus 1. And then put this into here. That would be natural log of 1. Well, natural log of 1 is 0. This thing here disappears giving you this. This is your final answer. Okay?